Hey everybody, I would like to say a huge massive thank you for everybody who was liking, commenting, sharing my videos, sharing my channel. I finally drank a thousand subscribers which means a lot for me and my channel. I finally getting one more step closer to my YouTube channel monetization. Still need to collect few watch hours but that won't be a problem and let's continue to the video. So I'm gonna use two inks. I'm gonna use on one a uh, black one and on the second one white one uh, they are two from completely different brands that as you can it stayed for a few months unused so it has some oils i uh, have just to mix it properly and let's start with this one then for applying ink on the uh, liner I'm gonna use bigger size not because those are too uh, clean it's just because for me to apply with the biggest size I have prepared only a couple sheets because it's just a test print and I will see how it looks like on brown paper. I never tried for applying ink. I bought this from some Euro shop cutting board. That is actually really nice for printing. And to press liner on the paper, I'm just gonna use my favorite cooking I mean printing spoon printing my press so and by the way this is the liner I'm gonna print it is based on Rembrandt sketch I just added a few more details I took a few out and I added my log on the corner uh, my plan is to print on paper and maybe to do a second part. I'm saying maybe because I'm not sure I'm gonna make it. Uh, well, let's be optimistic. I might be making it. Uh, anyway, so in the second part, I'm gonna print this on fabrics. And let's see how it goes. Just making sure there is no derbies that it shouldn't be here. As you can see, there is that oil that I mentioned before that it shouldn't be here if it's mixed well, but it just stayed for so long time that I'll just try to use it by hand. Uh, it looks a little too liquidy for me, that oil. Don't really like consistency. I might have to add a little more. Rather to have a little more than less. Yeah, that should do. Just gonna put a couple sheets of paper down here. And apply my ink. Yeah, it's very liquidy. God, but it smells so nice. I 
haven't even measured out where it should be so just I'm gonna guess it's a test print so let's see how it goes it actually doesn't look too bad maybe that was a little too ink in the gaps here because it was too liquidy as I mentioned it shouldn't be like that especially here and here I hope with the black ink it will be a little better so I think this one is not that bad I should just mix it a little better Okay, so here it is, second ink, black. I used it uh, recently, so it shouldn't be any oil left. And I honestly, I prefer more of this brand than the other one. It's never too oil, it's just, uh, you will see yourself. I think it's a little uh, too dense that I like of it. Really love the density of it. It's a little sticky and smells completely different. Okay, seems about right. Right, what's wrong with my words today? Just being dyslexic. Okay, so try. Number two. Test subject number two. Of course, I already see the mistake, <laughs> but it's a test print. You can't judge me. I can judge myself only. Let's reveal it. I really do like it. I do prefer black one. And I really love this brown paper. I think this is the way. I believe the rest of prints I will do on this same brown paper with black ink. Uh, and t-shirts. On t-shirts I might try both still as I haven't decided yet but definitely this will go for sale
hope you like the video and wait for part two which should be soon I'm not promising because i have few more stuff in coming see ya Hey, 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 everybody. Thank you. Man, Tony Riki in Pasco in his shoes with Sierra de Gino. Hmm, because she likes them. A huge, massive four. Hey, huge, massive. I want to say words, words, words. So finally, I can get those 20 euros to pay for my internet.